Deriving the formula for the area of a triangle. Hello and welcome to Maths Whenever. In this video, we're going to use basic geometry and algebra to derive the formula for the area of a triangle. Before we do this, we need to consider the three different types of triangles that can exist in terms of angles. One type of triangle is a right triangle. This type of triangle contains one right angle, that is, an angle of 90 degrees. Another type of triangle is an acute triangle. This type of triangle has three acute angles. An acute angle is an angle of less than 90 degrees. The final type of triangle is an obtuse triangle. In this type of triangle, one of its three angles is obtuse, that is, greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. In all of these triangles, it's important to understand that the base and the height are always perpendicular with respect to each other, that is, 90 degrees to each other. Now, regardless of whichever of the three types of triangles we have, the formula for the area of each is the same. That is, the area of a triangle is always one half times the base times the height. But what if we have a scaling triangle with three different side lengths and three different angles? or an isosceles triangle with two equal side lengths and two equal angles, or an equilateral triangle with three equal side lengths and three equal angles. The following table shows that each of these types of triangles can also be classified as either right, acute or obtuse triangles. In the first column, a scalene triangle can also either be a right, an acute or an obtuse triangle. Here are some examples of scalene triangles that are also either right, acute or obtuse triangles. In the second column, an isosceles triangle can also either be a right, an acute or an obtuse triangle. Here are some examples of isosceles triangles that are also either right, acute or obtuse triangles. In the third column, an equilateral triangle can only be an acute triangle. That's because an equilateral triangle has three angles of 60 degrees. Having now shown that any type of triangle can be classified in terms of their angles, we will now begin the derivation of the formula for the area of a triangle. The first triangle we will consider is a right triangle. A right triangle can be considered to be half a rectangle or square whose side lengths are also the base and height of the triangle. It is easy to see that the area of a right triangle is one half times base times height. Using algebra, the area formula can be written as half times b times h or more succinctly as half bh or bh all divided by 2. One triangle done, two more to go. We will now consider an acute triangle, A, B, C. At first glance, it's not so obvious that the formula for a right triangle also applies to an acute triangle. To see why this is so, we will split the acute triangle into two right triangles, triangle A, B, D and triangle B, C, D. Note that both these triangles have the same height, H. But triangle ABD has the area A1 and base X. And triangle BCD has the area A2 and base Y. The lengths X and Y sum to the base B of the original triangle ABC. So the area A1 plus A2 has base B and height H. With these definitions, we can begin the derivation of the formula for the area of an acute triangle. Using algebra, we can write that the area of triangle ABC equals the area of triangle ABD plus the area of triangle BCD. Alternatively, we can also write that the area of triangle ABC equals A1 plus A2. Since triangles ABC and BCD are right triangles, we can express the sum of their areas as half XH plus half YH. We can now factorise this expression as half times X plus Y in brackets times H. Recalling that X plus Y equals B, the base, we get the same formula as before, that is, the area of triangle ABC equals one half times base times height. Two triangles done, one more to go. 
We will now consider an obtuse triangle, ABC. Just like the acute triangle, it is not so easy to see that the same area formula also applies to an obtuse triangle. Again, to see why this is so, we will form another triangle, BCD, which is a right triangle. There are now three triangles here, triangle ABD, ABC and BCD. Triangle ABC is the triangle whose area formula we want to derive. The key to doing this is to notice that of the three triangles, two are right triangles, that is triangle ABD and BCD. Notice also that all three triangles have the same height H. The triangle whose area we want to derive is the obtuse triangle ABC and this can be found with the aid of the other two. We do this by subtracting the area of the small triangle BCD from the area of the large triangle ABD, both of which are right triangles. The base of the green triangle ABC is B, while the base of the blue triangle BCD is X. Finally, the base of triangle ABD is B plus X. From these definitions, we can now begin the derivation of the formula for the area of an obtuse triangle using algebra. We can write that the area of triangle ABC equals the area of triangle ABD minus the area of triangle BCD. We can re-express the right-hand side in terms of the areas of the two right-angled triangles as half times b plus x in brackets times h minus half times x times h. Expanding the bracketed term gives half times b times h plus half times x times h minus half times x times h. Since the last two terms on the right hand side sum to zero, they cancel, leaving us with the same formula for the area of an obtuse triangle. Area equals half times base times height. So, for all triangles, the same formula for the area applies, that is, area equals half times the base times the height. If you like this video, then please like, share, subscribe and add a comment. You can also check out more videos at Maths Whenever on YouTube. And for a collection of other mathematical stuff, follow Pi on Instagram. Thanks for watching and see you next time.